got me, it's too shit I'm so high, I up and oh shit You take me to a safe place We steady on the same pace, yeah I'm crazy, you like that Don't back down, no you don't back Good morning angels, welcome back to the channel Guess where we are, we're at the Goodwill Outlet again We basically live here now Today we're basically looking for more stuff for our Depops More stuff for whatnot And we're also having a flea market on this coming Saturday So we thought it'd be a good idea to stop here again Because the last couple times we've been here we've gotten such good stuff So why not just keep it going Let's get in there and see what we can get today Got beaver nuggets be a lot cooler if you did Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the Goodwill outlet. Nobody could buy their stuff. Everyone was panicking, trying to figure out what to do. They had us like write our names on a piece of paper to sit on top of a cart. And uh, some old lady was like, so what's happening? I was like, oh, they're just giving us false hope that we can get our stuff. <laughs> yeah. Because... Am I going 6 dollars Yeah. Okay. Because think of like getting there in the morning and you're not the first one there. Oh, Somebody no. just taking the name off of the cart yeah. and just taking your stuff it's like we're so lucky honestly that we yeah. were only there for an hour because like if we had been there all morning i would literally be beside myself right now but luckily we weren't there very long so we're just gonna try to make the most of it and go to savers customer appreciation day because it's monday <laughs> so hopefully we find some good stuff there instead yeah just trying to be positive go find some good stuff at savers yes you believe it see you there Made it, y'all. <laughs> Thank you for witnessing that. Well. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like so like, I just got here and I'm all excited. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right, y'all. Pretty much as soon as I stepped foot into Savers, I kind of went absolutely feral because I had this idea in my head that everyone that was at the bins was going to come here next just like we did which obviously like wasn't really the case but i couldn't let the risk happen so i hauled ass over to the shoes and i grabbed all the ones that i thought were cute immediately so my cart is already full and i don't know if i'm gonna get all of these but they all look really good together so there's definitely some potential in here these Betty Boop sneakers are pretty cute, but they're priced a little too high. And I think they're a little too modern. I can't really tell like what's going on. It's just not like quite right. This bag I thought was really cute until I realized it was a Lilo and Stitch bag, which like nothing wrong with Lilo and Stitch, but I thought it was more like a weird Hot Topic voodoo doll or something. So didn't get that one. Thought these boots were pretty cute. Honorable mentions at the very least. I feel like these platform sneakers are starting to kind of come back too, but this colorway was like super ugly, honestly. And these chunky sneakers caught my eye because they have like the faux fur and like the metallics. And chunky sneakers are one of those things that I definitely wish I had more of in my closet. These are a little too big for me, but they might be passable. So this is something that I might want to keep for myself potentially. They're starting to put Halloween stuff out now too, which is awesome because, you know, I kind of feel like they should have already been doing that for a while and I'm kind of surprised that it's not more stuff out, but at least there's a little. So hopefully we can go back again at least once more before Halloween is here to see what else they end up bringing out. I feel like jeans at Savers are always one of those things that I like never end up finding good ones. Um, these were pretty cute, these ones from Vanity, but as you can see they had like a little bit of stains on like the knee area and they weren't all that, but these ones are way cuter and I really like the unique pocket details on the back. I'm kind of struggling to hold them because they were trapped in between some other pairs of pants, but I really like those little glitter stripes on the back, so I thought those were worth showing you guys. These shoes are so cute and if they were priced a little cheaper, I totally would have gotten them. They definitely remind me of like the ColourPop trends that have been going on kind of in the last two years, both with home decor and fashion. These shoes were also kind of cute, but just like a little not 
quite right. Like, I kind of like that they looked like ballerina flats, though, with a platform. That was kind of cool. I headed over to the cardigans and the sweater section now, and this was one of the only, like, decent-ish pieces I kind of saw, this, like, fringe thing. And then this was also, like, decently cute, but it still was kind of like, eh, like, whatever. I think it was kind of like a greenish gold with sparkles, which I liked, but yeah, kind of just looks like free people vibes. And then I went over to the t-shirts because the sweaters were just so underwhelming, which is really tragic, honestly, because usually this is the best time of the year. These shirts are always so cringe too in the t-shirt section. Like what the actual hell is ever going on with these t-shirts? It is literally so hard to find good ones here. I don't know. Like it'll take you like hours and then you'll end up walking away with like maybe three if you're lucky, which is another reason why I like the bins so much because I feel like as soon as I walk into the bins, even though it's really overwhelming in there and it's definitely like harder work in the grand scheme of things, I always find like way better stuff. And a lot of the time there's like no competition for the kind of stuff that I'm looking for. Like to a certain extent there is, like I know now that like a lot of locals sellers have caught on to like the Ed Hardy trend and like you know the Y2K stuff but it's still mostly like guys that are in there competing for the same vintage t-shirts and I feel like I definitely come out on top whenever I go because of that. Everybody who's looking for the same stuff I am usually comes a bit later in the day than I do and they don't take it as seriously as I do so that's why going to the bins has always been my favorite way to obviously flip things but it's always fun to come to the savers because you really just never know what you're gonna see here and it's so much funner to like see what kind of you know glassware they have and sometimes the plush is fun to look through and stuff like that so I am glad that we're here and I'm glad that we're looking because I'm already pretty stoked on some of the pairs of shoes that I found so it'll definitely be a worthwhile trip at the end of the day. I thought this t-shirt was pretty cute, but again, I was like kind of on the fence about it. So I did put it in my cart for a little bit. This one is like the showstopper of the day for me. Like I've been actually looking for something like this on like Depop and Mercari for a while now. And I'm just super excited that I finally found something after all the effort I just put into looking. Cause honestly, I was looking through the t-shirts and sweaters for like, you know, probably an entire hour. And yeah, it was just like, bleh. Oh well, I'm heading over to the sweatshirts now because I have also sometimes found some really good stuff over here, but it's mostly pretty bland and it's just kind of like super basic like workout running type stuff so yeah today wasn't the best day over here but that's all right i headed over to the weird like householdy area and i found this hannah montana hamper which is adorable but i don't really need it and i don't want to sell it so i'm gonna leave it for somebody else I went over to the jewelry case and they had some like decently cute stuff in there but nothing that i was super into myself and then behind the counter in the expensive rack, they have a bunch of Lion King mugs and me and Nico were wondering how much they probably priced those for. Probably some insane number, so we didn't even bother asking. Look at this giant like bucket of necklaces. Like literally that stuff was so tangled up, it was kind of insane. I'll show it again. But Nico's showing me a couple of things he found on this new rack that he thought I might think are cute. And they are cute, but yeah, I was just like, oh, maybe they're not quite right, so. Back to the bin. Oh my God, this thing is such a nightmare. Like who decided this was a good idea? I started trying to dig, but literally it just wasn't even worth it. I found this little puka shell chain and I'm thinking like, oh, I kind of want to see that. So I started trying to pull it out, but it was so stuck. I was like, if I pull this any harder, I'm going to rip it. So I had to just give up. I got really excited when I saw this hat until I realized that it had had literal shit on it. So I guess I could have taken it home and washed it or cut that part off. But the idea of bringing that into my house in the state it was in repulsed me so badly that uh, yeah, it was just a turn off and I had to leave it. Just such a shame because I feel like those hats are so cute and I know they sell well on Depop, honestly. So what a bummer. 
One thing about me when I'm out thrifting for like stuff to flip is like I see stuff all the time that I know I could flip and make money off of, but I really genuinely care more about the aesthetic of what I'm selling than anything. So you guys know that like sometimes I'll see something and put it like on Mercari if it's like something I don't find aesthetically pleasing, if I know it's a, like a really good price and whatever, but I mostly just, yeah, care a lot about what my Depop shop looks like and I'm trying to like curate a vision and a, a certain style and if things don't fit into that style I just don't care. Looks like we got a cat theme going on today. We got some cats, we got some precious moments. We got more cats. Wait, we got even more cats? We got little sly mice. We've got oh. seals. Looks like Michi. It does look like Michi. Oh, that's his family. Oh, it's me and you. Hey, Robo straight down. God, this thing is so creepy. Hey, a Mumu. Better show this off as a palette cleanser. Oh, thank God. Oh, Buddha. Look at this Whoa, little Buddha. lamb. Look at this depressed little lamb. Aww. What's this all about? This is kind of cute. Hello. In a very rustic kind of way. Yeah, I love cool. this flamingo, though. It's not quite 80s vice enough for me, but. Yeah. It's close. It's getting there. If it was plastic. A wonky aerial up here. Okay. How about this? Hello. <laughs> Rock downtown in New York. This one. Wait a minute. The book Rick Smoky Mountains. It's me and you again. <laughs> Michi again. Ew. <laughs> Albino Michi. What the hell? Seal content. Big precious Ooh. moments. Whoa. Look at our sun. <gasps> What the hell is going on around here? Another one. Another one. They really make themes. Who do we have here? Anne Bonnie. What is that? Well, she's the infamous female pirate that I've never heard about. Ooh. Yeah, that was for Pokemon it's cards. I will be getting that. Good eye. Oh my. Not my vibe anymore again, but somebody would really like that. What the? Look at this poor bastard with a bee on its nose. If that was me, I'd be oh tweaking hard my right God. now. Oh god. You would have, you'd punch yourself in the face so hard it wouldn't even be funny. What? Um, what? Care Bears. Pamper yourself a little. Care Bears. It does look just like you. <laughs> the pretty amber things. You drink out of them? I think so. Wow. They're pretty dope. That is fancy. Yeah. Oh, look at these. Ooh. Look at that. Hello. I might have to. Make a this nice, is an espresso uh, teeny glass. I was gonna say, a nice martini oh in there. thing. Cute. These are coming home. It's been a while since I bought some glassware. Whoa! <laughs> Baby, what about this? You can make a cake in the shape of a dress. Yeah. It's a mold. Look at the color of this strainer. Hmm. What the hell is that? There's one for me and there's one for you and there's one for me and there's one for you. Jeez, what the hell even is this? This is all happening. That one's cool. Oh, there's something inside of it? Yes. Okay. Oh my god, they didn't separate them. Uh, For the spooky friends. Pow! That's always a good one. Somebody must have donated a bunch of shit because from their like store. Because this has the same tag on it as the mugs. They wanted do. $20 for that? Yeah. They're insane. I know, they truly are. No wonder why I went out. These are really cute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Where's my cart? Back there. What the? Yeah, killed for the hippo, but I'm hoping he went to a good home. Yeah. And if he isn't here, I'm gonna go ahead and. Whoa! Whoa. Jeez, that thing is flat. I know. Jesus. Which one is this again? Uh, Dipsy? He looks like a super sus drug dealer. It's either Dipsy or Lala. Yeah. Yeah, that thing is wild. Oh my god. Oh, kitty. Kitty. oh Toki Doki. Oh, cute. Who's this Parker friend you found? Oh, he's a real piggy bank, it seems. There's another pork. I think they should stick together and be pork friends. Oh. Whoa. Ooh, how precious. <laughs> Is that a nerd? Yeah. Whoa. It's kind of fun. I don't know if I'd consider him a pillow, but okay. Goodbye, sweet prince. Hmm. Michi again. So, twins? Yes or no? Oh, God, baby. You got discharged in the thrift. Oh, my God. That is why you always look. Oh, my God. Yes, yes, Another indeed. One. Yes, indeed. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's looking pretty cute. Yeah, it is. It's like fun colors on it. Yeah, I like the metallic strap there. Yeah. That one's kind of cool. Yeah. 
It's fun. Uh, it's official. Whatever I want. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> you. Thanks, Anita. That I already could do whatever I wanted. <laughs> Where the potentials, y'all. Crazy lobster man. Suspect squirrel. Sturges, I decided to go against. Pretty cool, but don't need it. This little sweater is pretty cool, but meh. Then honestly, this one is pretty crazy. Really cool, like ruffles. Tag is really cool. Uh, it does have some stains, so. All right, babes. It has been a week or two now since we got this stuff, and I'm finally ready to show you guys what we got. Overall, I'm glad we went to Savers, even though I am very sad that we had to leave all of our stuff at the Goodwill outlets. There was a lot of really good plush and weird, dumb, cute stuff that we didn't even get to show you guys because they just made us get out so quickly. Yeah. It would have been like a lot of really good stuff or whatnot. Even though that's sad, a lot of this stuff will be really good for Depop, and some of it I'm keeping, so at least there's that. I think what I got was pretty damn good honestly so I did make a TikTok of the stuff I got too so if you guys are on TikTok you could also watch the TikTok version there my TikTok is one sick kitten but the first thing I suppose I'll show you guys is this pair of boots because they were one of the first things I spotted that I ran over to as fast as I could these are Y2K era so wear it declare it brand boots and they're a size seven and a half I actually just took pictures of these for Depop the other day and I think Nico background erased it for me. Yes, I did. So they should be ready to go pretty soon. I think I'll probably price these at maybe like $46 for starters, 46 plus shipping, something like that. Super cute, Bratz girl vibes. I'll just start with this vintage t-shirt. I actually found this kind of like right at the end. They brought a new rack of stuff out. They were going to start stocking the floor with. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody decided to make an early appearance. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, they were bringing out a new rack, so I found this on it. Single stitch vintage on that jerseys, and I believe, yeah, just single stitch on the sleeves jerseys always does that. Just really bright, vivid colors on it, and yeah, it just says Minnesota, and I believe it is 1987? 1997 or 1987? Whichever one, vintage. All right, next thing I found is also a pair of shoes. I really like that these have like hella pyramid studs going on on them. They're pretty like cheaply like made, I feel. And the brand is, I don't know if it's like legible anymore. It's like wearing away pretty badly, but it might just be like, I don't even know. I don't even know. I was gonna say Forever 21, but it's definitely not. But yeah, anyway, these are really cute and they were an obvious thing that I had to grab. I especially like that it has the studs on the front like this. But yeah, they go all the way around. So super duper cool. And these are a size seven as well. So that's my size. And yeah, I did like wear these kind of briefly one day. And yeah, just kind of like flimsy feeling, but overall like just really cute, like a Tumblr 2012 type moment. So had to get them. The next one I have here is this replacement shirt the replacement it is 2000 some point i can't read if it says 2003 or 2008 i'm not 100 percent sure on these american apparel tags what it would be let me know if you know show you kind of the little dating right there pretty cool shirt just a nice little band pickup that i know will flip this i got mostly because it was just like really cheap and i had the thermos with it it's this mickey mouse like kind of like pirate lunchbox and yeah usually when i find these lunch boxes they are missing the thermos and honestly the thermos is my favorite part of these because I like end up using them most of the time. I use the one that Nico got me for Valentine's Day a lot. It's like a snow white kind of one. I love the stripes on this one like the color scheme is really really cool so I figured this would be a fun thing to just like eventually maybe sell and whatnot or something. I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily take the time to list it on Depop or not but I'm glad I got it. It's real cute and yeah it was super cheap so why not. Next I will show off this t-shirt. I just thought it was cool. It says pyro with the flames, a little pyromaniac action. Tag is cut out here, so I'm not sure what this shirt is about or anything like that. If anyone has any more information, let me know. Uh, if not, it's just kind of a cool little shirt. This is another kind of strange thing that I got, but I had to get it. It's a cheetah print watering can and it's pastel pink and just like freaking adorable. I don't have like a ton of plants anymore and I especially don't have very many like outdoorsy type plants, but I still figure I'll 
use this because usually what I use now is just like a kind of like a pitcher like a water pitcher that's ceramic and I was like oh this is cuter so it, or it's more my style now I guess than the other one the other one used to be more my style because it's got like little rustic seashells on it but I'd be happy to sell that one in lieu of keeping this one but it was originally $12 at wherever it came from and I got it for $4 and then whatever 20% off of that is and it's from Upper Streets it's probably from like TJ Maxx or something but yeah super cute very cute I got this Gwen Stefani book <laughs> I feel like they did her dirty with this picture on here like her this style definitely she's got way better pictures so I don't know what the hell people news was doing yeah but... even that one you showed me on the inside is way cooler oh yeah there's like a lot of I feel like little kid story time here yeah I'm a teacher or something yeah just every picture is cooler than that one oh wait, wait. Let me find it. This would have been a way better cover. Basically, she's got a That's lot a of looks that were killer looks and yeah. they just gave her a not cool one on the cover. And whoever designed the book didn't yeah. do a great job either. But Gwen Stefani book. It's a really cool picture too. You know I had to pick it up. <laughs> Style icon. Why not pick it up? Okay. I don't remember if this is the last pair of shoes, but if it's not, it's one of the last. I found these really cool, again, pretty like cheaply made, very like flimsy sneakers, but I love that they have all these mixed textures. And I love obviously the cheetah print details and the metallics. So this was an obvious grab. These are a size eight. So they're a little big on me. And the brand on these is called Brash. I'll probably end up selling these, but if they don't look too insane on me and like too loose, then I might wear them a little bit because I was planning to. But yeah, they're definitely like, when I try them on, a little loose, but they could be wearable. It kind of like depends. I'm sure I'll sell them eventually, as I always do. Brooke found this actually when we were kind of just like walking past where they keep like school binders and old photography album things it's just this little pokemon card holder it's got these old school like lapras gyarados kind of theme but it is from 2021 honestly but i have pokemon cards who the hell doesn't i will probably put some in here because why not so this is honestly, I think, the only clothing item I got during this entire trip, which is kind of a tragedy, but it's a really good one. Yeah, I have already worn this like a week straight, basically. Like once I put it on, I was like, this is kind of something I've been trying to manifest for a while is like a Y2K era, like varsity style dress. This one isn't Y2K era, but I still like how like, I don't know, what is the word I'm looking for? The style is like tacky and like ugly kind of, but like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Basically, it's got the vibe I was looking for. So the only part that I don't love about it is probably the sleeves. So like, it's all right, but I kind of don't think this needs to be there. And I wish it was just a plain stripe with no writing on it. But yeah, it's like the rest of it, I'm a big fan of and I feel really cute when I wear it and it's one of those things that like if I don't know what to wear I could just throw it on and be happy so really glad I found this one and now that I'm finally filming this I can put it in my closet where it belongs I do have a couple more clothing items grab this Las Vegas sweater just thought it was cool I like the little preppiness about it good little plaid Vegas good color scheme love the like gold trim on there classic I found a couple of really really cute bags that I'm super excited about this one i can't remember what the brand was now but i just took pictures of this the other day too okay this one's from the limited it has this green interior with a couple pockets and i really like the shape of this one kind of like round and it kind of like gets wider like the more you fill it and i love again that it has the pyramid studs like this would be a total vibe with those shoes just like a matchy matchy like tumblr grunge 2012 olsen twin vibe so indie sleeves may as well grab that one because i'm definitely gonna put that on pop and then i'll show this one off too because i really love this one and this has got like a similar energy to the kind of bags that i've been using with like the big fat crosses and stuff like very mock off this one is definitely giving more like a snooky vibe to me which i think is wonderful so i really like it i'm probably gonna list this soon and i'll probably price it at like 35 for starters but i think somebody's gonna absolutely love this because i do so that's how we know I grab this card again just thought it was a nice classic look who doesn't rock a little cardigan this one is jeff links jeff links i thought it was lord jeff or whatever the hell that other brand was oh it is it is like down here it says lord jeff uh, i never heard of the sub genre jeff links before but i was thinking jeff links was like those beef sticks but yeah. that's jack links yeah. <laughs> i was thinking beef sticks we're getting all crazy around here made in usa uh orlon which is a type of uh like polyester i think or some something like that good size it is an extra large that is probably a Depop piece. 
Okay, next I have some Beanie Babies that I already took out of the bags now and I did give away like a couple of them on whatnot the other night. But basically I found two of this one. It's like the little spooky Halloween bear with the little pumpkin on his chest and he's like glittery. So he's obviously perfect for the season. So I did give one of these away after I turned it into like one of those little bag clips that I make. So somebody got that one. I still have this extra. So probably do the same thing with that one potentially. I'm not really sure yet but then I also got two of the end bears and as you guys probably know by now that's my favorite beanie baby so pretty much anytime I see a the end bear I try to grab it honestly it's crazy how different these bears faces look yeah one's wild. a little wi yeah. wider it's like they're all a little different but yeah crazy I don't know for sure yeah what I'll do with these either I probably will again do the same thing just like turn into a bag clip and like either give it away or let somebody buy it from me if they want or whatever I might as well show off all my beanie babies what a what a crazy beanie baby day like <laughs> i don't remember like how much i filmed of that at this moment but like i know i didn't film as many as they had there it was insane i had one of everything like or two or three more than i had ever seen in my life <laughs> but yeah i got these two the bride and groom bears honestly there was like a cuter set but i could only find the groom unfortunately these ones are still cute though classic also grabbed these two because i thought they were cute and they matched to like the opposite colors I gotta do something with this i know she does scarves like i feel like there's something cool to be done with these since they're like the opposite colors figure something out then also got these cuties got smoochy actually it's just is smooch its name is smooch i have an idea yeah well if you found a jacket that matched those bears and it had pockets right down here you could put one on each pocket mm -hmm. see now we're It'd thinking posh now we're thinking hey no that was good then other than that i just have this one and his little heart scarf says love you and his name is truly so yeah got a bunch of damn bears and i guess since we're showing up plush i'll just show this one off too i got this little guy um didn't realize it had like a little name put onto it i found two care bear mugs when we were there but one of them had a weird little like blemish on it that was pretty permanent seeming. I tried to scrape it off and it wasn't giving. So I did end up getting this one. It says have a yummy day. And this one I think came from the same lady that had the Beanie Babies because all of these oh, yeah. all of these tags are the same. That says 1983 and it's got the little Care Bear logo on the bottom there. I don't know what my plan is for this. Probably Depop but I love it. Like it's really cute. I just I need to be more selective with which mugs I keep because we have plenty you know and it's like I'm still trying to get more. Like if I found the right South Park mug ever, that thing would be like permanent. <laughs> like I'd be scouring the internet for like South Park mugs for whatever reason. I just think they're cool. So yeah, I'll probably sell that one eventually. But I'm really excited about these and these I'm going to keep. You hold some of them. There's four and I'm really excited to have an actual set. So yeah, these are espresso teeny glasses, which I'm sure you guys saw my excitement in the earlier part of the video when I found these. But yeah, like this little pink blush glow is just iconic and it's obviously the perfect addition to our Playboy Mansion and it's going to look absolutely gorgeous in our kitchen. And honestly, it's a shame that I made that kitchen TikTok before we had these but there's always still the youtube tour video we got to make so they'll have their time to shine oh yeah and now when people come over and they want an espresso teeny and i don't have any of the ingredients i'll be like here we go here you go here's <laughs> something completely different here. hopefully someday <laughs> We'll have a full bar with all the things because that would be bomb. Okay, this is my last clothing item. It is this flannel MMA Elite XXL. The back is the cool part. It's got like the big wings, says Salvation, has a little crown on the top of that. If this was my size, I'd probably wear it to work because, you know, I work at a restaurant and you need to wear flannels and stuff like that. We're in Minnesota, so yeah. Just like the uh, embroidery too on this part that says Salvation thought that was really dope. Okay, another cute little thing that I got is this little camouflage, like, fuzzy bag. It's a little backpack. This was in the kids section, actually. And it looks like it came from probably just, like, a dollar store situation, just judging by this tag. Oh, yeah, so it's $5, five styles. This is probably from, like, five below or something. But it's really cute. Um, I love how soft and fuzzy it is. So I thought somebody would want this. And I'll either put it on Depop or whatnot. But, yeah, it was only $2.50. So I was like, 
That'll do. All right, I just have some CDs and a cassette left on my haul. I'll show off these CDs first. Obviously, I had to grab this Cheetos one. Comes with a DVD as well. So, why the hell not, you know? Just a classic album. You got that classic phrase on the bottom, I'll stop stabbing when you stop screaming. You know, we are metal as hell. It's funny because I feel like Cheetos isn't metal. Yeah. <laughs> That's not metal at all. No, it's, <laughs> it's metal. Oh, yeah. It's just uh, metal with some singing in it. Yeah, I guess. This one is super random. I just grabbed it because it has this Keith Haring album art, and it's a very special Christmas vibe. You got acts like Macy Gray, Wyclef Jean, Eve Six, Bon Jovi, all these people, Stevie Nicks, Stevie Wonder, doing all these Christmas songs. We'll throw it on during Christmas. I'll make her listen to it. <laughs> but yeah, all this cool artwork, like, Oh, goody. Had to pick it up. Hey, Macy Gray Christmas, come on. Yeah. Then I grabbed Nine Inch Nails, Downward Spiral, also a classic. And then the last CD that I got was this Nirvana Nevermind, which is the like actual 1991 release of it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Honestly, it's a little scratched, but guess what? I got that CD cleaner. Maybe it's the one to try it out on. The CD fix it kit. Yep, exactly. That's all the CDs I got. <laughs> okay, everything else I I got is pretty damn silly and sort of underwhelming but I have all these beanie buddies and I have two angel bears and they're both slightly different and then obviously I had to get pinky too because pinky is one of my favorites and I have given away a pinky bag clip before but yeah I love these for like arts and crafts projects and attaching to things and these are like extra cute ones so I had to get these ones but I also got this silly little hippo that says I love you oh my god yeah Something about us and hippos. I love that this one has this little tag too, because then you can like, again, put in your car or something, or you could like, yeah, add this to a keychain. Like this would be super easy to just like, yeah, put on your keys or something. And it's a Dan Breckner. Dan Breckner. You heard it here first. Oh yeah. Here's some more honorable mentions. I donated the other crap that I didn't want already, but I have this cute little Hello Kitty, which actually I think um, this is the same one as what Maggie sent me the other day, because mm. it had a pencil attached to the one she oh, sent me. Yeah. So that's super cute and funny, because now I have two of these and they match. And then I had to get this stupid little, I don't know, is this Tinky Winky? Like, which one is this? Why does Tinky well, Winky- Tinky Winky, I'm pretty sure is the big purple one. Okay, well, why does Dipsy or Lala, it's not Poe, I know that. <sighs> Why does Dipsy or Lala dress up like a pimp all the time? Like, what is up with this hat? Like, tell me why this was like the one clothing item that they would always put on in that damn show. Like, what is this all about? This is kind of terrifying, but in a good way. I like it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. Probably going to just like add it to my shrine, I guess. You just sit and stare at it sometimes. That's all. That's what it's good for. Look at those eyes. Look at them. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that away now. All right, my last or thing will here. I? Ah! Okay. Unless. <laughs> ah! 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 So I just got this uh, Gin Blossoms tape. Thought it was really cool. Look at the little sleeve on it. It's just a, like a single. So it just has two songs on it. But hey, why not? Gin Blossoms at Savers. I think it was like a dollar. So picked it up. Ah! Oh! <laughs> okay, the last thing I have is all of these Victoria's Secret pink dogs. Woo, 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 woo. Um, what, this one actually, it just came with my Teletubby, so I was like, whatever. But this one's kind of like a coin purse, and you can... <laughs> it's gonna take me a second to come back from that. <laughs> the dog was being disgusting. Sorry. <laughs> I won't even tell you what he just did. <laughs> My child. Oh god. Okay. This one you can add a strap to or something and it's got this little zipper. So just like a cute little coin purse situation. I don't really care what happens with that one. But these I know have been kind of desirable lately in the online selling world. So I was really excited when I found both of these and the colors are immaculate. Like could there be a better color scheme to find for these dogs? I think not. So that I'm probably going to put on Depop and Mercari. Mercari is kind of where I was price checking these and yeah that's it's not bad so I should be able to get a little bit for these guys and yeah they're cute you know very Y2K vibes that's it y'all well goddamn let us know what you like the most from this haul and if you want to buy anything from us feel free to message us on either Instagram or Depop my Instagram is one sick kitten with all letters and Nico's is 1-800-GHOST-STAMPS and if you want to buy directly from us on Depop feel free to message us there which mine is one sick kitten same as the YouTube channel and his is 1-800-GHOST-STAMPS and we hope to also see you guys soon on whatnot we have a show usually on there once a week 
and make sure you give this video a thumbs up watch the ads subscribe we love you so much bye